Dear students, welcome to this class. Topic is transformation by using matrix. It is day two. So hope you are all fine. So let's go ahead for today's lesson. This is mainly I discussed already. In this chapter, there is mainly two formula. One is i equals to m o and i equals to m plus o. i equals to m plus o is only applicable in case of translation only. For the reflection, rotation, and enlargement. We are using the formula i equals to m o. So i, m, and o they have their usual meaning. I stands for image, m stands for transformation matrix, and o stands for object in terms of matrix form. Now today we are going to discuss to find the matrix associated with given transformation. How to find the matrix if transformation is mentioned, and vice versa means its reverse process. That means if matrix is mentioned then how to find the transformations so simply understanding if how to find matrix if transformation is given and how to find transformation if matrix is given let's discuss the first type already we dis we, ha we have been discussing this so find find the transformation matrix here we need to find the transformation matrix that is equivalent to reflection on y equals to minus x so here the transformation is given transformation is reflection on y equals to minus x and we need to find the transformation matrix equivalent to this so at first we need to write the formula in terms of coordinate so how the coordinate will change when we do reflection on y equals to minus x so here x comma y we suppose is an object then its formation of images is minus y comma minus x when reflecting on y equals to minus x so initially we know object and image in terms of coordinates now with this information we are going to find the transformation matrix equivalent to this reflection on y equals to minus x so first we start from the image and since we know the coordinates of image minus y comma minus x but we will write this point of image in terms of matrix like this minus y comma minus x now we wrote that coordinates of image in terms of matrix now the main concept is here we need to expand this first coordinate and second coordinate in terms of x and y in case of minus y their x is missing there is no any x there is sing only minus y so 0 into x in front of y there is minus 1 so we will write minus 1 into y so if there is in terms of x and y means if x is missing 0 into x if y is missing 0 into y same approach in case of minus x here is minus x and I'm, I'm going to do the expanding expansion of this so in front of x there is minus 1 so I wrote minus 1 into x and only in case of minus x there is no y so y is missing so 0 into y so in this way, sorry, uh, let me erase this. Okay, what we are discussing means we will write image into matrix form and we'll try to expand in terms of x and y. If x is missing, then its coefficient is 0. If y is missing, its coefficient is 0. Now, from this single matrix, we'll try to form two matrices in terms of their product. Means one is simply by taking its coefficient only you can see the coefficients are um, visible in the above matrix the coefficients are visible what are the coefficients they are 0 minus 1 minus 1 and 0 so one matrix will form by choosing only the coefficients by keeping coefficients only so that is the matrix from the coefficient and then now the variable involving in the above cases there are two variables one is x and another is y so x comes first y comes second so in this way uh, we finally decompose a single matrix into two matrices in terms of product and i already discussed uh, this first step and second step they are equivalent because when you multiply these two matrices you will get the above things now here you try to compare here Initially x comma y stands for object and minus y comma minus x stands for image. There is two by two matrix 
that is the required transformation matrix so as i am talking we are using only one formula that is i equals to m o m is equals to transformation matrix m times object so when we compare this relation with this solution so easily we can say what is the required transformation matrix m so the required transformation matrix m is 0 minus 1 again minus 1 and 0 so in this way in my first class also i discuss if the transformation matrix if the transformation is given then by this process we can find what is the matrix involved with this transformation we can find this now today one more thing we are going to talk what is the reverse process what can be the reverse process so that thing i'm going to explain now here you can see one question on your screen right the transformation here we need to do the reverse process a matrix is given and we have to find this matrix represent which transformation reflection rotation or enlargement that is our finding so what i am talking it's a reverse process for example in first case we start from the image and we compare with i equals to mo in the second case we have to start our problem from i equals to mo so at first let us suppose object o equals to x comma y so this is the reverse process of first problem okay in the first problem we start from the image and we convert that image matrix into the form of i equals to mo but here after supposing object equals to x comma y we will start from i equals to mo because that is the formula to find the image so let's find the image of object x comma y by using matrix so i equals to m o i am starting from the formula i equals to m o so what i am again explaining it's a reverse process first one is from image two comparing with i equals to m o second is starting from i equals to m o now here a matrix of transformation is given so m is given so i am going to keep the value of m yes minus one and zero Yes, I keep the matrix M and already I suppose object O is X comma Y actually it is the generally we suppose object is always X comma Y now simply it's a matrix multiplication here I am going to multiply these two matrices and I will see the outcomes the outcome is not other than the image after multiplications we are going to find the image of X comma Y so let's do multiplications so hope you still remember matrix multiplications multiplication between this row and this column so while multiplying row with column this 0 multiply with x only minus 1 multiply with y only and gives a single image like this like 0 into x and then minus 1 multiply with y like this minus 1 into y and now same process we repeat for our second row after multipli multiplying with first row now the second row is this second row again multiply with x and y and minus 1 multiply with x first element with first element only corresponding element minus 1 into x now similarly 0 into y there is no sign that's why plus we can write there is no negative sign that's why 0 into y yes in this way uh, we can multiply these two matrices and we we can merge we can find a single matrix now it's simply 0 into x means there is no x no need to write x so what is the result of the first element 0 into x minus 1 into y so it is simply minus y because 0 into x means nothing similarly what is the result of second one minus x because 0 into y is nothing so in this way by using matrix multiplications we find the image of x comma y our object is x comma y and with the help of the given matrix we got 
the image of x comma y so what is the image of x comma y that is minus y comma minus x let's compare this object and image so when you compare this object and image so if you are familiar with those formula you can say it is a reflection on y equals to minus x it's the reflection on y equals to minus x and in this way if matrix is given then even you can mention this matrix represent what kind of transformation so in this case the given matrix represent reflection on y equals to minus x so let me go some more okay let me discuss this question this question is regarding enlargement so here is e stands for enlargement 0 comma 0 is center of enlargement is origin and 3 is a scale factor i wrote already the formula so 3x comma 3y now 3x comma 3y is our image so here we are going to find the matrix that belongs to this enlargement so i wrote image into the matrix form 3x 3y now same process we are going to decompose no we are going to expand sorry we are going to expand so 3x means 3 into x and since there are no y in the first element of this matrix so we can write 0 into y it is compulsory to express each element in terms of x and y and if y is missing then its coefficient is 0 if x is missing then its coefficient is 0 so it is 0 into y where we expanded this 3x now now similarly while expanding 3y there is no x there is simply 3y so 0 into x now 3 into y so in this way first element of the image 3x expanded and second element of the image 3y also expanded now so the same process will decompose so while decomposing into the two matrices in the form of coefficient we simply write their coefficients into the and then variables so in this way a single matrix decomposed into two matrices in terms of product form you are already familiar it's the time to compare this um, problem with the formula i equals to m o so when we compare with i equals to m o then see what is our image image is 3 x 3 y that is our image let me use a different ink here so our image is 3 x comma 3 y our matrix is 3 0 0 3 and our object is x comma y i think no doubt here so after this comparison easily you can say what is the required matrix m required matrix m is 3 0 3 0 and 0 3 0 3 yes this is the required matrix m so in this case also let's talk about the reverse process means vice versa in case of transformation if a matrix is given then how can we find the equivalent transformation defined by that matrix so here you can see your matrix 2 0 0 2 and we are going to find the transformations and i am going i am just convincing you it's a reverse process so in this case same like the first problem we suppose object o equals to x comma y and we introduce the formula i equals to m o and since we know the object and we know the matrix so we don't know image in this case so we will keep the value of given transformation matrix m that is 2 0 0 2 so please try to compare these two process 2 0 0 2 because that is a transformation matrix is given 2 0 and 0 2 a transformation matrix is given and the object is x comma y so we are simply substituting 
the value of matrix M and object O. And now it's time to do the matrix multiplications between these two matrices. So it's a simple matrix multiplications. So this first row multiply with X and Y, this first column. And while multiplying, they will multiply with corresponding element. Means 2 multiply with X only and this 0 multiply with Y only. So like this, like 2 multiply with X only, so 2 into X. Now it's time to multiplication between 0 into Y. So 0 into Y, what is the sign? There is positive sign because there is no negative sign, 0 into Y. So we multiplied first row with first column. Now same process we repeat with 0 and 2. Second row, 0 multiply with x only, 0 into x and 2 multiply with y only, corresponding element I am talking, 2 into y, yes. So in this way, uh, we input the value of M and O, we did the matrix multiplications very carefully. After that we need to see its simplest form. So what is the simplest form of 2 into x plus 0 into y? So it's a reverse process we are doing. So 2 into x plus 0 into y, what is the simplest form? It is simply 2x because 0 into y means there is no y. Now similarly 0 into x means no x, so 2 into y. So in this way, after multiplication with the object by the given matrices, we will see image and object. Now let's compare the object and the formation of image by this process. So object is x comma y and now image is 2x comma 2y. Now try to remember this, this type of formula belongs to reflection, rotation or enlargement. This belongs to enlargement because it is in the form of kx comma ky. So it is the enlargement with a scale factor 2 about origin. So our answer is the required transform uh, transformation is enlargement. Now let's talk about this question. Now here till now we are solving two problems, four problems actually through the process but actually if it is very short question and simply write the transformation matrix now I think you can do this with very directly very shortcut without any process so we need to find the required matrix the ref ref reflection on y equals to x and you know the formula now let's forget the process and let's try to find uh, the matrix represented by the reflection on y equals to x very fast so a short method Let's be familiar with this and based on this short method and try to uh, respond the Google quiz after this slide. So here we are not, we are now uh, after uh, solving through the process, let's try to find a very short process. So um, the short process is here y comma x so y comma x means simply you try to expand y roughly so y means 0 into x plus 1 into y now simply try to expand x there is simply x so 1 into x because there is 1 in front of x so 1 into x and then what about y y is missing that's why 0 into y so it is enough if you do this expansion then it is more than enough to answer what is the required transformation matrix no need to do the whole process no need to compare anything after you are being habituated with this process so if it is very short question one marks question so this is the better way so your answer is required transformation matrix m is simply 0 1 1 and 0 normally in SC examination, it is very short question, so there are no need to show any process, simply you have to write the correct answer, 0, 1, 1, 0. So this is the answer.
So, this slide is helpful to answer how fast you can answer the required transformation matrix. Similarly, here we'll discuss how fast you can answer the transformation if the matrix is given. The first two slides is the process. The last slide, this we are explaining how to answer very fast without more process. So simply see here, here is a matrix is given and uh, here I kept X and Y on its top. Simply you can you can write that there is 0 so you can write 0 into X minus 1 into Y because and similarly for the second row for here you can write 0, 1 into X 1 into X and then plus 0 into Y So in this way you can you can um, find the expression very fast and then what is the simplest form of this expression means 0 into x minus 1 into y means what simply this is minus y and 1 into x plus 0 into y means what simply it is x so in this way you can find image very fast without uh, this real actual process if you want to answer very fast simply by this way you can find what is the image of x comma y now let's compare object is x comma y and our formation of image is minus y comma x so this represents what this represents rotation isn't it you have to recall those formula the formula of reflection formula, formula of rotation and formula of enlargement especially so this is the rotation through plus 90 degree about origin so what is the answer so required transformation is plus 90 degree about origin so thank you so much uh, i think uh, by this two videos we cover almost uh, the short question of uh, this transformation by using matrix